Hello there, YouTube. We are back with some more match play commentary for y'all. I'm joined by the Kaiju King, the Highwayman himself, TJ. It's me. Welcome. These matches took place at TJ's abode. I am tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so tired. We're getting there, Chief. And We're I, getting there. I was, go I was going somewhere with it. I had a plan, and then it melted, and now here I am. Sort of a good summary of where we're both at right now. Yeah. Started off strong and now we're just fading into the ether. We're doing it for you okay. guys. Because we love you guys. And then me and Battle are gonna bend oh just you just go. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking for five minutes and drink. <laughs> Not alcohol. <laughs> soda. <laughs> I have work tomorrow. Never that, uh, that hasn't stopped me before. Yeah. Whatever. But uh today's matchup features Rio uh playing his more comfortable seven great demon lords deck on the left, going up against TJ, who's bringing back the decks to Gora. Uh we're definitely getting some good matches in. Uh so hopefully you guys are enjoying the release of BT17. Uh let us know down in the comments what you guys are rocking with. Let us know what matchups you guys want to see. We're slowly starting to get more pieces in, so We've got more and more decks to put up on the channel. So if there's something in particular you want to see, we'll try to see if either one of us has the decks or one of our local boys has something so we can try to catch that match on cam. Uh, but hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. Couple things before we hop into the round itself. As always, you know, if you like our content, you want to support the channel, please do consider hitting that like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. And, you know, hit that bell so you're notified about when these video goes live. And lastly, check out our socials, which are linked down in the video description below. Contains our Twitter, Instagram, Discord, all that good stuff. Um, and the Discord is probably the best place where you can find all the deck lists that are being run on the channel. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, enough jibber jabber. Let's hop right into the round over here. So we're getting set up a little bit. God, those um, sleeves are so nice. What? Well, what? Rios? Both of your sleeves, but but particularly yeah. Rios. The X anybody sees guess how much guess how much how expensive those are right now. How much? They're 40 bucks. Ooh. First 60 pack is crazy. Jesus. Um so this was last match of the night. Uh this is a best of one, to be clear. Oh. Um I don't yeah. know if I don't know if you said that. I kind of I zoned out for a second. Okay. Cool. Uh yeah, so it is a best of one. Um just to be clear, everyone, just because we're I was needing to get in here to record these with you tonight. Um and yeah. it was getting late, so we were like, yeah, let's just do a best of one because uh, Rio didn't really get to play like much of a game with the Imperial match uh, that you guys get to see yesterday. Um, so I was like, yeah, we'll go ahead and play one so that way you can play because he was also kind of he was he was a patient lad. He was just chilling, waiting for us while we were all playing. So um, he has a pretty goaded turn one. Like it's, yeah. it's about as good as it can get for seven or eight demon lords. Get the miss memory boost on board, gets the loose on, gets his trash set up like He's cooking, and I kind of do the same. I'm able to get, uh, you know, I have a close oh game to move already, Lord. and I'm just well, setting bye up cool boys. Yeah, AG does go bye bye, which is, I mean, it's whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so we go ahead, swap over to Rio. Rio does the start of main to go ahead and reveal top three, add one, and then trash the rest, and then pops Lucy, tucks the belt or the BLs. Rio's gone so good with such a great demon lords too. He's just he has a well oiled machine. He is. He was having to remember some things on this match. He sure, was like, it's sure. been a minute because he hasn't because we haven't really played. We've had pre-releases all week, which is why yeah, we've been like yeah. recording from people's houses. Um, and then we, we, before that, like we were, you know, things. Life's busy, man. We got stuff going on. So plays on the loose. He puts me to five. I'm like, OK, I'm going to just try and hyper up as much as I can this turn. Sure. So tuck Kosuke, get the draw, go into a Dexter Ruger here for do not realize oh. that I'm supposed to trash cards. I think this is where I was saying, I'm like, wait, do I do the trash regardless? Because mm -hmm. I wanted to put a Dextor Gray in trash. Sure. So that I could uh, swing, force the uh, Lucy to block, and then potentially partition. Sure, 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 sure. Um, but then I'm like, well, it really wouldn't have helped me here. But yeah, this is me like sitting there like talking to myself. And I was like, well, you can do it if you want. I'm just like, no, I'm going to just play it like I have been. No one's corrected me yet. So, <laughs> which I guess like, maybe just hasn't come up in other videos. I'm realizing now. But yeah. anyways, so um now I know. I do know how it's supposed to be done now. To and BT7 I will take gray, which lets you tuck in another door gray. Yeah. Can't I'm be like, DP well, reduced or deleted by effect. 
Yeah, he has the uh, the ascent there, so I'm like, it you know that is tough, but um, you know I'll just set up a stack. I can't be DP reduced or deleted at least, so that's something. Um, and I have all the inheritables I want on this stack, so that's pretty good. Um, but here's my issue. Uh, I'm set up. I'm good to go. I have Tamer in there and everything. I do not have a Dorogoromon. Mm. I don't have a Dorogora. It's a now, Ascent yeah. wouldn't proc because it needs to be a 7th grade Demon Lord. I was going to say, it's removed. right, right. About 99% sure. I could be wrong on that, but I'll double check right now just to make sure. It is uh, a little scary, though, because Rio does have a BL rise, ready rather. to go. Uh, so that's a pretty vulnerable correct. stack that if BLs comes out, he's definitely got trash set up where he could just de evolve. Yeah, which I was, I was, I, I had other door gray in hand. I yeah. had other door gray in hand. So that's why I was yeah. like, it's fine if it gets de evolved. It's whatever. I do feel like I probably should have just swung uh, here. This is probably my first issue where I should have, um, like, for example, if I had pitched off of the, uh, So he does. He just he ends up playing that out and uh, popping the tamer. Um, it, I guess this actually it probably it's probably better that I didn't swing. But uh, at, at, like, at the end of the day, I was like, maybe I should have swung with that earlier stack just sure. to try and like swing with the Doro Gray. Do the check. If I die on the check, I can go ahead and Evo into the deck Doro Gray, and then the technically the secure tech plus one would be live. Uh -huh. So it would have worked like how Phoenix and other stuff does, where like when the even though it applies after the check's done, as long as like, you're still resolving effects, the attack sequence is still happening. Sure. So I would have been able to do a second check with it, but I think I would have died on the second check. So. Um, so anyways, I go into uh, Dorogora here. I'm able to pop the Lucy. Mm -hmm. um, he uses the uh, Rise to go ahead and spit out a Yells and DJ Vault 2. And now, I sh man, I should have done it there. Why did I do that? Why did I do this? This is such a bad play. I Evo, swing. I think I was in autopilot, but I should have just swung and tried to do damage. I think I was too focused on getting like the line that I want. I don't know why I bothered going into the next door, Gray. I think I might have been looking for another Dorogora. Sure. To be honest, which I think I might have found actually. I don't remember. This only happened like two hours ago, but my brain's oh, there. It is. So cooked. There's a Dorogora. Oh, did, yeah. So I go Dorogora, pop the BLs. He does do the all turns to go ahead and tuck. Um, but he won't get any extra tuck off of the gate. Uh -huh. So that's something. And he's choked to one. So I was like, that's a pretty good turn, I think. Yeah. Uh, but it, my oh. stack has no protections. And there's no Dex Dorogora and trash. So I just lose that stack and creepy pops it. He mills six. Uh huh. Is able to get his trash set up pretty good. Oh dear. Um, pass me two. I go to three. I have the door. I have the cool boy. So I'm like, okay, I can kind of do something here, maybe. Sure. Um, I believe I push up. Yeah, I do. Slide another Kosuke underneath. Mm hmm. Which gives it a little bit of protection. Go into a Daruga. And I'm assuming Dex, yep, Dex Daruga. Mm -hmm. Gain two from the cool boys and then pitch one off of Dex Daruga to gain another memory to shoot up to four. Then you go Doru Gray. Yeah, there's um, a Dex Dorogora. I think they were all clumped like the like, bottom half of my deck. Gotcha. With all of this. So I swing Force Collision, go into Dorogora. I'm able to swing through it. I'm debating what I want to play out here. Uh huh. Play it out go ahead and mm -hmm. Both y'all cycling through decks right now. First check, I'm 14k, and it's like, of course, I hit like the, like the few bodies that I actually meet. So I hit a Levia X out of security. Oof. So I have to go into my Dex Dorogoro uh, to keep my stack alive. Oh, go ahead and swing again, Lord. and it's a seventh lightning. So I'm realizing now because it only pops up four and a five. I actually, if I would have swung with the Dora Gray. You would have been fine. I would have been fine. I would have uh, almost died on. I would have died on the first, or would have like almost been deleted on the first swing. Gone into Dex Dor Dor Gray. Second swing would have hit the seventh lightning, and then I would have lived because it just misses fives. Uh -huh. that's, that's, uh, that's also so sad for me. That actually would have um, been pretty you big. Dor Gray off of the Dex Daruga. Because uh, you're yeah. able to Evo into Dex Daruga to prevent the deletion of the Daruga, which is always mm -hmm. a solid effect. Yeah, so I figured like if he tries to play something to pop me, I just go Dex Dora Gray. If he tries to digivolve me, that's fine. I'll get to digivolved, and then if it's something tries to happen to this stack, I can just go back into a Dex right. uh, Daruga. 
Um, he, he ends up playing ascent. another ascent. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the ascent honestly is super hard to navigate. It's really really scary to get around. Um, mm -hmm. Just because he can just spit out anything from his uh, his sources, so it's just like, ugh, ugh. So Dex, my deck is running low. low. Yeah, his deck was also getting low at this point too. We were both getting pretty close to deck out. Um, That's crazy. <laughs> you guys are so really point, just flying through the deck. Yeah, I'm thinking about what to do, and I'm realizing. So this is this is the micro decision that I mess up. Mm. This is exactly where everything goes wrong for me. Um, I believe it's this turn. <laughs> mm. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Um, but it'll be it's a good learning good learning exercise for everybody I think everyone will probably realize this as well so I have a, I have a decent hand size I have everything I need in hand mm -hmm. so I'm sitting here thinking I'm like you know what I have like if my body gets cleared I have a deck stroker to keep myself alive so that's fine so I don't want to evo or anything over it so I'm going to keep it there uh -huh. um, I think part of me was debating on going into a, uh, another Dora Gray if I had the ability to but I think I was missing the Dora Gray mm -hmm. um, so I play a cool boy search top three Grab the Dexteruga, bottom the other. So I'm like, okay, if I want to hard evil into it for memory gain on the following turn, I have that option in case he doesn't mm -hmm. try and pop me. And then I play a Doru, choke to one. Sure. What I should have done. I should have played two Doru. <laughs> I should have just played two level threes. Um, Because even if he had... So he set up for a Gudo. A Gudo's in trash. He has eight sources right now. So yeah, go ahead and use his rise. One, two, three. You've got six yeah. things on board. Spits out Leviya. Um, Leviya will not do anything right now. I think he actually ends up thinking about doing something else. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Yeah, he callings pops Leviya. Grabs two cards back. Tucks in Ascent, it looks like underneath. Plays out of Lucy Chaos. It gives me the option to pop, and so I pop the uh, the Doru. Sure. So right. here's where I'm realizing my mistake. So I have that Doru in back, right? Mm -hmm. If I had had another Doru on board right now, um, that would have been everything I needed. Mm -hmm. I have. I have all the ability I need to go into everything. So I go ahead and I tuck a Kosuke. Uh, I draw one. Um, I'm debating on going into a Dextruger right now to gain the memory. And I mean, your your deck size also too is something to consider, right? Because if you if you do do Dextruger, you end up I, just drawing three and you probably just need to well, win the now, mind? right? I was of the mind that, yeah, I need to win this turn. I need to yeah. win this turn, otherwise I lose. Um, yeah. I was like, I can get up to seven memory because I have the BT, the BT9 Dex Druga and then the three cool boys. Uh -huh. um, and even now, as, actually, as I'm analyzing this, I'm realizing with the board state, it's not what I thought it was. Maybe I, maybe even the micro decision wouldn't have mattered. So I do this, I'm like, okay, got to go full send. So I just draw the rest of my deck, trash a card off of the Dex Druga. Sure. Debating what I want to trash right now. To clarify a couple of things. I'm double checking his trash because Lucimon spits out from trash. So he's got the creepy. I'm like, okay, so he's gonna pop a low end body if I do something. Yeah. And you're like, who? I'm like, how many cards he has left in deck? He's got five. So I'm like, okay. Dang it. But the thing is, is that, um, so Gudo's end of opponent's turn. Uh huh. Um, if I, so. I just need if I like if I had a way to like get him to mill out, it would have been perfect, but I it really didn't. Um Door Gray for three. Yeah, so I go door gray for three here. So I guess I guess this just comes down to if I had the other rookie. Because I had an AG in hand. I could have I had Alliance on deck. I think I'm one memory short still, actually. Yeah, I think if you hard play AG, you're still short one, I think. So I needed to be able to put that Doro into a Daruga. And do things because right now I have collision, unfortunately, on that guy. So mm -hmm. I just Doru in, pop the chaos mill, he spits out a body. So, yeah, so the initial thought was that, um, if I had played out two rookies, he said he would have played out a Leviah. Sure, um, I could have evoed uh, into uh, basically, I would have had the rookie in back, rookie on board, and then the um, the Daruga. This is me talking about it a little bit. 
Except I was, I was abating, but you can go ahead sure. and kind of just pause it and stop it here. Because I just, uh, I scoop because he has it. Yeah. yeah so we're yeah. going over. So his last three security were three Digimon. It was a BLs, a Leviah, and a Lucy. Basically, uh -huh. the idea was that if I had played just a second rookie, even if he, because I asked him if he had a Leviathan in hand, if he would have played that, he said probably yeah. So I, he would have played that, popped a rookie, attempted to pop Daruga. I go Dex Daruga and Evo. He does this whole thing. Um, he would have had to find a, just figure out a way to pass turn to me. Um, plays whatever to pass turn. He probably would. He might have even just passed. He said he wasn't too sure what he would have done. I don't think he had any security bombs in hand. Uh, I'm at three. I can still theoretically. Uh, Push up the Doru, have another Doru on board still from the one I played before, and then have my Daruga. And then I would have been able to go for two into a Dex or into a Daruga, go Dex Daruga for free, gain four memory back, play an AG, tuck AG under one stack. Um, swing, swing, swing. I think I'm actually still short one regardless. I, so I yeah. still think you're short. So one. yeah, I think I'm short regardless, no matter how I break it down. I think my thought process was maybe having another AG or something on board, but. Regardless, if I would have swung earlier too, that also would have been bigger too. But yeah, so it's, you, you get the feeling like all, you see all those micro decisions you make with turns just completely sends the game in your favor or against you. Um, probably the biggest one was actually not swinging with the door right earlier, but I also didn't know it was in security. So. Right, I think that's another thing too, right? Like, I feel like we see that a lot with a lot of decks now too, right? It's like if you make that one sort of like small, one yeah, either the one gamble or like the decision not to gamble, and it's always easy for us too to say like, oh, I should have done that, especially since we're like watching these over now and we're like commentating. It's like, oh yeah, that would have been more optimal. But like, in reality, it's like you never really know. You know, you don't know what's in security. You don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's sure. it's one of those things where it's like it's tough. And I think the game also... is also evolving in a way where like there's so many layers on it now. Where mm -hmm. like you could always make the case to say, well, if I had just done that, like maybe I could have done something. But like. You never really know, you know. No, you never, because you, you never know what what's gonna be on the other side. Sometimes uh, right. it's impossible to read certain situations, um, like no, like for example, like knowing what's in your opponent's security. Mm -hmm. um, just how it goes. But yeah, now I, I thought I, I think I, yeah, I just I misunderstood the game state there at the end there. So I thought I had a way out. But yeah, it turns it looks like I was just stuck. I my biggest issue, I think, more than anything else, even aside from not swinging. I ran out of Dorgoromon. <laughs> all my Dorgoromon were in yeah. trash. Yeah. I run three, all three were in trash because I lost two super early. Yeah. Which that was very tough. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this matchup. Uh, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Mm -hmm. uh, like we said before, we're definitely going to be getting more and more decks out there as we get more decks put together as the set is now sort of evolving in front of us. Let us know what you think in the comments and let us know what other decks you want to see in the comment section below as well. We'll try yep. to get them on the channel. Uh, yeah. Shout outs to Rio. Rio played it really well too. I yes. I, I, just, you know, I'm, give, I'm gabbing over here about what I could have done, but Rio played it very well. He did a very, very good job. Yes. Um, he did demon yes, little yes, things yes. and it was, it was sexy. Um, but, you know, we'll try to get stuff on cam. Let us know what you're looking for and we'll do our best. And... And yeah, that's all I really have to say. So thank you all for tuning in. Appreciate all the support. And hopefully we catch you on the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.